Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's now have quarter 4, module 5, for site 7. The title is Behind the Length of Daytime is the Tilt of the Earth's Axis. Let's start by answering the what I know portion. So ipa-flash ko lang itong answers sa what I know. Paki-pause na lang sa ating video. And for the what's new, give seven words that are related to the lesson. So we have some of the words here. Meron pa tayong hindi na, ano, itong degree. Pwede naman, pwede naman ito, degree. It is still included. Anyway, pakipause na lang. So ang lesson natin is all about the, itong tilt of the earth. On its axis. So we know that there are 24 hours in a day, which is one complete rotation, 24 hours. So there are instances that the North Pole is tilted toward the Sun. So what happened during that time? So the length of daytime will be longer than nighttime in the Northern Hemisphere, if that is the case. So when that happens, the ground absorb more energy from the sun. That is why the result is summer in the northern hemisphere. On the other hand, as the earth um, revolve around the sun, there are instances that the southern hemisphere is this time the one tilted toward the sun. So if that is the case, it will have this time southern hemisphere is summer and not northern hemisphere is winter because when you say winter it has a shorter daytime or the length of daytime is shorter kasi nga this time ang tilted toward the sun is the southern hemisphere Because when you say shorter daytime, length of daytime, it will have a shorter time for the ground to heat up and longer time for it to cool down. That is why winter will be experienced in the northern hemisphere if the southern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun this time. Then we have the so-called direct rays. So it is called direct rays when the light rays are hitting the earth at 90 degrees. On the other hand, if the light rays are hitting the earth at an angle, any angle, we call it indirect rays. In the equator, we have direct rays always. In the North Pole and the South Pole, they will have indirect rays that is why they are called there all right for the what's more kayo na dyan ang mag answer for the what i have learned ito po ang ating answers pakipost na lang sa video para po may focus ninyo ang mga answers ang mga pasagutan po and for the what i can do and assessment na tayo so, which of these locations on Earth experiences the least change in the number of daylight hours throughout the year? So, it is, okay, equator. Equator, okay. The following are true about the Earth's axis, except its axis is perpendicular. This should not be the case. Its axis is not tilted because... The three are correct, man. Okay, correction, ha? Huh? Correction. Let's correct it right away. So, the answer should be this one. Kasi ang axis niya is tilted. Is, hindi siya na tilted. Okay? Then, ito, shine a bright light on one side of the ball. So, if you want to model the day and night cycle on earth, shine a bright light on one side of the ball. Then, what is the tilt in degrees of the Earth's axis? 
it's 23.5. Then, why does the length of daytime vary from month to month? Because Earth's axis is tilted by 23.5 degrees. Is the axis of the Earth not perpendicular to the plane of its orbit? Yes, because its orbit is tilted. What causes there to be longer number of hours of light during the summer? Earth is tilted toward the sun in summer. Which of the following best explains why CP3 experiences the smallest change in day length between summer and winter out of the four cities shown in the diagram below? CP3 is located close to the equator. Next, which of the following statements correctly describes the direct rays of the sun? It's 1 and 2. So, when you see direct rays hit the ground in a straight angle, and direct rays hit the ground at 90 degrees. The following are true about the rays of the sun except diagonal and oblique rays hit the ground directly. Kasi, different man sila, except siya. So, are the lengths of days and nights equal? No, days and nights change from day to day within a year. Is it warmest at the equator? Yes, because it receives direct sunlight. What is the result of the Earth's rotation, day and night? Which of the following statements correctly describes sun rays? So, we have sun rays are direct and indirect. Direct rays hit Earth at perpendicular angle. And direct rays contribute to colder days. What causes variations in the length of daytime? It's the tilt of the Earth's axis. And for the additional activities, kayo na pong bahala, mag-answer nito. Just learn to analyze the given chart. Alright, so that ends our video lesson for module 5. And see you sa module 6. Bye-bye!